As threats of nuclear war are exchanged between the U.S. and North Korea, survivors of World War II mark 72 years since atomic bombs were dropped on two Japanese cities. And those attacks changed the lives of many, including those being held in Japanese prisoner of war camps. Tonight, CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith sits down with a survivor of one of those camps, a woman living in Cary, for her story of sacrifice and courage. Ronnie Herman de Jong was three years old when her family was forced into a Japanese prisoner of war camp. Her parents were Dutch, her father a pilot for the Allied forces. He was sent to the colony, the Dutch East Indies. Ronnie and her sister were born on the island of Java. Soon after, her parents faced the most trying times of their lives. The Japanese came down the coast. They conquered every country they came through. After bombing Pearl Harbor, the Japanese military invaded Java. Men and women across the island were split up into different internment camps. I had to hand in everything, uh, jewelry, money, so that there was nothing left. Ronnie, her sister, and her mother were held by Japanese troops for more than three years, their situation deteriorating with time. Her mother secretly kept a diary of everything they went through. Hardly any food, no medication. People died every day, 10 a day or so. They were released two weeks after the U.S. dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. After four years apart, they were reunited with their father. If the bombs had not been dropped, thousands of people would have died. Ronnie believes today's threat of a nuclear attack is different from World War II. She says it was necessary then and hopes she doesn't see another world war in her life. Every day I wake up and I thank God that I'm alive. In Cary, Carly Griffith, CBS, North Carolina. And there is much more to Ronnie's story. She's written a series of books based off her mother's diary from their time as prisoners of war. She's holding a presentation on those books next week in Cary. We have the details and more on Ronnie at WNCN.com.